in Microsoft Teams, there is the option of sharing files through a folder and multiple teams that you own. This is particularly useful when you have a lot of different teams for a particular subject and you need to share files with all of the teams at the same time. Instead of having to go into each team, let's say class 3, and uploading files directly into the files section of that team, there is an option to upload the file only once in a master team, which I will be explaining soon, and then copying those files to all of your teams. This would save you a lot of time, of rather than having to upload each file into each team, you are uploading the file only once. This takes quite a number of steps, which I will be showing you right now, but it has to be done only once. The process is divided into two parts. The first part is done on SharePoint, and the second part is done on Teams. In my case, I have created a new team named Masterclass, which will be used to upload my files. I have now members in this team, which will be used only for this purpose. The tab I am interested in is the Files tab. So I click on Files, and by default, you will always have the Class Materials folder. I will delete this folder because I don't need it. For the first part of this process, we need to go to the SharePoint website. So we click on Open in SharePoint once we are in the Files section, and this will take us to the website for SharePoint. Once we are on SharePoint, there are a number of steps which you need to follow. First, we click on the Home button on the left-hand side panel. Then, we click on the New button and click on Document Library. We give a name to our document, so this will be the name of the parent folder, the folder in which we are going to upload material. In my case, I'm going to name it Computing. I click Create. As you can see, a new folder has been created named Computing. Inside the Computing folder, I need to create a new subfolder. The reason being that I can control who accesses that particular folder. It is important to give meaningful names to both your team and your folders. This is due to the fact that these names will be reflected when you clone these folders. So once I have created my main folder called computing, I'm going to create a new folder here. This is the name that all students will see when they access the files section. I named my folder material because this folder will contain all the material that I need to share with my students. Once my new subfolder is created, the next step is to change the access right of this particular folder. So I click on these three dots and click on Manage Access. If I had to explain what this process does, is that you are changing who can access this particular folder. By default, only members of this master class team can access this folder. Since I want to share this folder with the multiple teams that I own, I have to change the access right so that all those members can access this particular team. So here I have to click on the plus sign and grant access to all teams that I own. I will switch off the notify people button. Can edit will be changed to can view. This is important because if you leave it as default can edit, all students in your teams can delete your files. So in order to safeguard yourself, change this particular option to can view only, which means that students can only view for your files, can only view your notes without deleting them. So you click on the plus sign, switch off to notify people and can view. The final step is to add all the teams that you own. For example, one of the teams that I own is named Class 3 Andrew. So you search for that team, you find Class 3 Andrew members and you add them there. Grant access. So what I have just done is I have granted access to all members, as in all my students in Class 3 Andrew, to be able to access this particular folder. Once I'm done, those particular students will have access to this folder. So the first part of this process is done. We are ready from the SharePoint part of this process. Now we have to go to part two, which involves adding the folders into Teams. I go to Teams. As I have said earlier, I will be using this particular team called Masterclass 
to upload all my files in. So I go to the file section and here I need to add the folder. The folder that I have just created on SharePoint so that I can upload and add material inside that folder. So the second part of this process involves the following. You go to the file section, you click on add cloud storage and click on SharePoint. Once there, you have to use this button, use a SharePoint link. So in order to use a SharePoint link, you have to copy the share link of that particular folder in SharePoint. So while I leave Teams open, I go back to SharePoint, I go to the folder which I have just created, and I click on share. From there, I copy the link of that particular folder. So I click on copy link and click copy. Once I'm done, I go back to Teams, click on use SharePoint link and paste the link here. Click on go, choose that particular folder, which is the master class and click on next. The last thing that you need to do is from the master class team, choose the particular folder that you are sharing. In my case, as you remember, I named it computing. I click on next and click finally add folder. Once I do that, a new folder will be added to my file section. As you can see, the folder has a linked icon. And if I open this particular folder, I will find the materials folder, which will be the folder where I'm uploading all the material that I need. I will be uploading a PowerPoint as an example. I have successfully uploaded a particular PowerPoint inside this folder. And now after I clone this folder into all of my teams, this PowerPoint will be uploaded automatically in all my teams. The very final thing to do in order for all of your files to be shared across all of your teams is to go into each team that you own where you want to share the files and repeat the process of adding a SharePoint folder. So I go to class 3. So the class with which I need to share my files, I deleted all other folders that were present there, for example, the class material, so that the students, so that the students are not confused by a number of folders that they have, but there will be only one folder they can click on. And now I have to repeat the process I did earlier. I click on add cloud storage, click on SharePoint, click on use a SharePoint link and paste the link that I had copied earlier. Click on go, next, I select the folder which I created which is computing and click on next. Finally, I click on add folder. So I need to repeat this process for each team that I own. Again, this is done only once and once it is successfully done in all your teams, all your files that you share will be shared across all teams. One thing to note is that when students access this particular folder, since this folder is not directly related to this particular team, it will not be registered in the Insights app. That's something that you need to know. Now, if I open this folder, which I have added through SharePoint, I should find the PowerPoint and material that I uploaded from another team. In fact, it is there.